What's up guys, Tim Little here with Tactical Bassin. It's out, I'm out here, it's uh, midsummer. it's about 95 degrees. Um, what? <laughs> spooning. You know, a lot of guys overlook spooning. You know, they, they, they spoon in the wintertime, they spoon in the, sp in the fall, but uh, some of these reservoirs, you know, these bass, they get the, the bait all schooled up and uh, you can do a lot of damage in a hurry. Uh, I'm throwing the, uh, this is a three quarter ounce Blade Runner UV spoon in morning dawn. Uh, I throw them all the way up to two ounces. It's a, it's a lot of fun, a lot of people overlook it. Uh, I'm using a seven foot uh, fast action rod. I'm using just 12 to 15 pound fluoro, seven to one gear, ra gear ratio, and just having a blast. So uh, what do you got, Matt? Um, I'm using a little bit different setup. I'm using a, a seven foot eight, uh, like a jig rod. You know, just a good all around jig rod. Uh, I guess I'll reel up, stop fishing for a second. I like throwing braid, you guys know that. So I'm throwing um, 40 pound braid to a 15 pound mono leader. That mono leader is my shock absorber, uh, but that braid really allows me to put the screws to them once I get them hooked up so those fish don't shake off on the way up. Because with that spoon, as you guys know, if you've done any spooning at all, there's so much lead out in front of that fish's face, you just got that one treble, they can really throw it on the way up. So seven to one reel, longer rod, uh, I'm using that heavier spoon. I'm using a, it's like an ounce and three quarter, or I think that's what it is, ounce and three quarter. So we're just geared a little bit differently. He's throwing a lighter spoon, so he's throwing on a lighter setup. But I mean, it's July, it's hot, we're sweating. A lot of guys are out frogging. They're, they're running the bank, throwing top water, which is fun too. But there's definitely a deep offshore bite that a lot of people miss out on. Right, a lot of people go, you know, deep cranking, deep jig fishing, out on the breaks, but they don't even think to throw the spoon and we're I don't know what we are 25 30 fish into the morning we've been on the water about an hour and a half when you get on it it's hot and heavy so don't overlook it this year go out there look for them you can see them on the graph where they start balling up on bottom and throw that spoon First thing is going to be the square bill crankbait. The square bill is a, a compact bait, fits that general bluegill profile where it's a short, stumpy bait, pretty round. More importantly, it moves very quickly, very erratic, something that we're to do. This may be a better day than I think. The lake is starting to look pretty stacked. So we're going to run down Lake Cub. I don't know how well you guys can see, but basically, I've got a big point over on this side and an even larger point there on the left and then the dam down there in the background. And uh, I think I'm gonna focus around those first couple of big points, although I gotta admit this stuff is looking pretty darn good. But we're gonna start out down there. We're gonna focus on some of that stuff and see if we can find some fish on the little bit of structure that is in. 